Assalamualaikum and good greetings. So today we'll be watching a video titled My Struggle with Accepting Islam. This is by I am Lucid. Um, not sure the context of this video, but without further ado, let's watch. Everything and everyone is trying to explain wait, to wait, us wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. Did he did just that? Everything and everyone is trying to explain to us that our existence. Now, this is not the point of this video, of course, but uh, the style. If I, if you are familiar with, I think Mister Who's the Boss, right? The the tech channel. Uh, his video is always interesting, but this is one thing that he always do. Everything and meaning suddenly jump into the seat to start the video, and th those are the small small techniques that. You know, if you analyze what makes his video very interesting, because you know, if 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 suddenly he want to, he didn't just pick up, but someone drop into his hand, right? Something like that. So that's quite interesting techniques. I'm I'm not sure whether I will go to that level <laughs> in the future, but anyway, let's let's hear what he was he want to say. Everything and everyone is trying to explain to us that our existence isn't miraculous, that everything can be explained by a natural process and believing in divine intervention is nothing more than blind faith. Well, the truth is, all of our richest countries with their best scientists and doctors and research don't even know how their brain fully works yet. They don't even know for certain how life even started. They can't even explain the cause or what caused the universe. Now, they don't know any of the questions that we innately ask. They don't even know how to answer them. For an example, how did I get here? Where am I going? And where was I before I was here? All of these questions that we ask depends on us having a consciousness. And our greatest minds in the world can't even derive what a consciousness is or how we even have it. The point is, everyone is calming you down about the miraculous, rare, and near impossible fact that you're alive right now, that you have a body that you can control, that you have a brain that can even comprehend its own existence, let alone you know question its existence and the existence of an afterlife after this one. But they always tell you, nah, man, don't worry. This is all just a random chance, bro. Don't don't feel like you're special or that you were created. That's uh, don't don't feel like for an event to uh, occur, there must have been a cause for that event. Don't even believe anybody that says that you were created by an intelligent designer, aka God, because we can't see God. And most importantly, we can't prove him under the microscope. Therefore, God isn't real. But these closed-minded geniuses miss the entire point and they even lie to their true selves. Let's be honest, we're all a little bit tripped out that we even exist, right? I can't be the only one that looks at myself in the mirror and feels at least a little bit shocked that, damn bro, I'm really in this for real. We have all of these amazing processes in our body. Perhaps those who think may think that, right? And I, I, I do think that myself is, is you know, someone who likes to think about things, but not to that level, I think. I never have. Okay, maybe because I'm, I cannot even remember when the last time I have a mirror to look at. Right? Uh, <laughs> so that's why perhaps I never reflect on myself. I don't know body that we can't even see with our eyes. For an example, my doctor told me one time, he says that we have a process in our body that actively checks uh, cells for DNA damage or for cancer. And the damaged cell will tell on itself by flaring a protein to let another cell know just in case, and it releases an enzyme called caspase. If the cell doesn't snitch itself out, then a macrophage will come check on it and will actually give it instructions. I'm not joking. The macrophage will give the damaged cell instructions on how to destroy itself before it destroys you. And if it still doesn't, then the macrophage will engulf it itself and then destroy it. This is happening in your body right now. And some people actually believe that there was no intelligent design behind this. Don't let anybody calm you down and dumb down your eye of reason. You know that this can't be without a cause. And you know that every atom in the universe has a purpose. And you also know that everything we have has a creator. Now you can apply those points to yourself as well. You have a purpose just like everything else. You're not like a random mistake, just like everything else. Your existence is not without a cause, just like everything else. This new age, postmodernist way of thinking that we can't be sure of anything. And to, we have to re, like be skeptical of any form of objective truth. And every single thing has to be only explained by a natural process without asking where that natural process even came from and even denying an intelligent design behind it. This goes against every human being's reason and logic. There was an Oxford study that was a $2 million study with, uh, I must've been like 50 scientists and across 22 different countries that actually proves that all human beings are born with the predisposition, the innate knowledge, knowing that there has to be a creator, one, and there has to be an afterlife. This study is actually going to be in the description and on screen right now. So we can empirically prove that our natural self, our true self that we're born with, knows that there's a creator because we use logic and reason when we're born. But it's everybody else, it's the culture, it's the society, it's the schools, it's the friends and teachers and family that teach us otherwise. But naturally, we're all born in submission knowing that there has to be one true God. Think of it this way. We're on a ship right now. We don't know how we got here, but we see that there's people ahead of us being thrown off the ship one by one. And then we ask, whoa, whoa, how did I even get here? Where are we going? And where'd that man go that just got tossed off the ship? Am I going to be next one day? 
And I'll tell you, bro, don't even worry about it. It's not that serious, dog. Just download TikTok, play some video games, you know, enjoy some snacks and some fried food until you're up next. It's not that serious. Don't even worry about it. That's terrifying. Your existence is a miracle. That of which nobody right now can give you the absolute reason or truth of. Not the scientist, not the doctor, not the janitor. Nobody except the one true God. Now, overcoming this immense skepticism and naturalism that has been my hardest struggle with coming to Islam since I've been indoctrinated from a very, very young age to deny the existence of a God and his messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. Since I was very young, I was always told that there's no proof for God. If you can't see God, then he doesn't exist. Show me God are the questions that I was being asked when I was like nothing but a 12 or 13 year old kid. And from that age, I was told that there's no way that any of these religions, any of these schools of thought, there's no way that we could have possibly been created. Everything can be explained by the microscope only which is not the case. Hopefully by me finally overcoming this, this doubt and skepticism and naturalism, hopefully I can help you out with at least accepting the objective truth that God has to exist at the bare minimum. Thank you for all watching this video. I absolutely love every single one of you. I want to give you, I want to give you a kiss right now. I freaking love you guys. Thank you for all being here and sticking to the very, very end. Um, join the Discord server or check out IamLucid.com to become a member and get direct access to me so I can be your boy. Thank you for watching this video. Stay dreaming, stay lucid. I'm out. Peace. What does lucid mean? I'm not familiar to, with the word actually, right? So when he says stay lucid, what does that mean? Uh, yeah, um, I think uh, especially in today's age and time, right, where there's a certain because science and technology is at a set very advanced stage. Alhamdulillah, that's good for our life, right? For the betterment of our life, etc. But it is being presented as if that everything is confined by it. S something, I, I'm not sure how to describe it. But uh, looking at elsewhere, looking you know, at, 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 a, at a bigger question, then you uh, keep on being brought, no, 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 no. You, you shouldn't, th there's no such thing as that. You, you know, confined within this parameter that you can actually test, etc. Uh, interesting uh anyway I, I i because this is more of i'm not sure that i should call it a preach but it's it's basically you know uh, something to make us ponder so i'm not sure what i can comment on that much uh hopefully it makes us think uh, at least without further ado let's no 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 thank you for watching how come i i, I thought it was beginning of the video anyway Thank you for watching. See you next time.